Many years ago, a friend taught me a good lesson I wanted to share with you. He had a neighbor that had a steep driveway, and every few years that neighbor had to replace the transmission in their car. He said they'd pull up the driveway, throw the car in park, and the car would rock back, he'd hop out of the car and go in the house. They never used their emergency brake, and because of that they ruined their transmission frequently. I'm going to show you how to properly park your car and not damage your transmission. So here we are on a hill. I'm going to pull up, stop, throw the car in park, shut it off, let the foot off the brake. That's how a lot of people do it. And over time, you'll ruin your transmission. There's two ways to properly park your car. I'll show you my preferred method, and then I'll show you a little simpler method. They both work, but I want to make sure that the brakes are holding the car and not the transmission. So that's why I do this first example. The way I prefer to do this is stop, pull the emergency brake, shift the car into neutral, take my foot off the brake pedal, so I know the car is sitting on the brakes and not on the transmission. Put my foot back on the brake pedal, shift into park, turn the car off, you're all set. Now I can do that without thinking, and I do that without thinking. I've parked that way for years and years and years. But if that's too much or too complicated for you, at least pull your car up, put the brake on, leave it in drive, put the emergency brake on, and then put it in park, turn the key off, and you're all set. If you practice one of these two options for parking your car, you'll save yourself thousands of dollars and the need for a new transmission. If this video was a help to you, Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.